for our help. So cheers to being catfish. I like this. Oh, those are good. Those are really good. I love it. We are gonna use Sea Moss's Cousin of the Sea as our guard. All right, you ready to taste? Tell me how you like them. Those are native to tropical countries. They're also native to Northern Africa. And they truly are a sour candy of sorts. They are a fruit, even though they look like this, they may look crazy. And I like to just honestly like take these off the shelf and suck on them. But oftentimes it can be a little sour. So you know, we're gonna turn this into a sour gummy. And usually if you love sour gummies, you're using citric acid so this is a healthier way to actually make your sour gummies I mean I just love these things so all I'm gonna do is peel off the shell and they have um, these little veins in them but the way we're gonna be making our gummies we don't even have to worry about this so just take it and drop it in some hot water and then we're gonna boil these for a little bit until they get soft all right Try not to get any of the shell in the water, but if you do, don't worry. We're gonna actually strain this out, so it's okay. If you're in the Maryland area, I actually picked these up from Wegmans. And if you're wondering which Wegmans, I am north of Baltimore. So the Wegmans, north of Baltimore in Cockeysville, they got these. Like, they've had these two weekends in a row. Go get you some. And they're actually really, really reasonable. For a whole container, I only paid $2.99. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of these shells and put this on the stove. So I've taken my tamarindos off of the stove and I'm just gonna add, it's still hot, so I'm gonna add in about a half a cup or a quarter of a cup of elderberry in here. Elderberry is not only gonna give us the immune system health that we want in this, but it's also gonna give us the color that we want because, shout this bowl of these don't give off really desirable look. So we're going to go ahead and let that steep in there for a second. It really doesn't have to boil, but if you want it to boil in there with it, you can. So after we mix it nicely, we're going to strain this mixture out. So to do that, all we're going to need is a strainer and another bowl of sorts. And then that's our color that we're going to get for our that's the color that we're going to get for our gummies. And say you wanted to do a different color, right? Like say you wanted to do like red gummies, you can use beets, you can use golden beets if you wanted to do like a yellowish, Halloweenish kind of color. You know, so many different options to do that if you're looking for that aesthetic appeal. But I felt like, you know, elderberries makes a cute purple and it's great for our health, so cheers to being healthish. And then all we're gonna do is just mash our mixture out with our strainer. And we're just pressing it against the bottom so we can get all the fruit off of our tamarindo seeds. And then we'll scrape the bottom as we get it out. Let me take a little work. Just a little work, just a little hand work. That's it, just a little hand work. And then at the bottom, we're gonna scrape all that off and put it back in our bowl. Cause we want that, that's the goodness. We want all that goodness. Okay. Then we're gonna transfer this back into our pot because we need to boil this to make it a gummy. Whisk this up just a little bit to break and all that goodness. Okay, so to make these gummies, we are gonna use Seamoss's Cousin of the Sea Agar Agar. I mean, you can use a regular gummy powder, but, you know, if you want your veggie tip or you're trying to get away from meat products and things of that nature, try Agar Agar. It definitely gives you that same appeal. You definitely don't have to jump out the window and use regular gelatin. So the thing I want you to pay attention to is as you're mixing this, before you put this in, 
it's clear, right? Like it's super clear. The drip is happening easily. This, the more you put in, the harder your mixture is gonna be, but you need to pay attention to it based off of how much of a mixture you have. So slowly add it in and mix. Slowly add it in and mix. Slowly add it in and mix. Of course, I'll put my measurements on the blog, but if you're doing this at home, you know, to get the right texture, you'll start to see your mixture get a little bit thicker as you mix it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this back on the stove with our gar gar, and then I'll show you what this looks like afterwards. Taking our mixture off the stove, and I don't know if you can see this, but it's not even dripping. Like, it's just hanging, and that's a good sign. It shows us that our gelatin-like substance has come to form. And then another good telltale sign is the edge in the rim of your pan kind of has a stain or a sticky, sticky stain. And then the last test is if you put it on your finger, lick it off, you'll still have like a little bit of residue on your finger. So that means they're ready, they're ready. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is sweeten to taste. Now the thing about making gummies out of elderberry tamarindo is that it, one kind of gives off a not so pleasant fragrance. Like if you're not used to fresh elderberry, this fragrance can throw you off. And because I'm making this for my little one and he eats with his eyes and his nose, I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon in there to help with that smell and help him navigate through smelling something that he's used to. And then I'm gonna sweeten to taste. So I am using raw agava, agave, agave, say it how you wanna say it, um, nectar. And the reason why I'm using this is one, it's Dr. Savi approved, and two, it comes from cactus. And if we look at the calorie count, it's only 60 calories in agave versus anything else. Zero sodium, all that, all that, all that, all that. No sugar added, we don't need it because it's already sweet. So yeah, that's what I'm using. You can use honey, I've used honey before, but now I'm on my agave tip. Perfecto. All right, let's go ahead and put this in our mold. So I have my molds here and I will leave this down below. I have it all linked in my Amazon store, everything I use, but I have my gummy bears and my gummy, these are worms. I have my gummy bears and my gummy worms mold and I have my little eyedropper or dropper here. And then all I'm gonna do is use a little bit of olive oil cooking spray just to help pop these out when they're done. Our mixture is ready, it's ready. So now all we're gonna do is drop these over into our molds. Teddy bears. See you guys 
gonna see what these look like. Boom, pow. How you like me now? Oh, those are so cute and they're just so squishy. <laughs> Part two.